श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव the five tanmatras they are expressed in this five pancha mahabhutas pancha mahabhutas are gross tanmatras are subtle we cannot see the test so the gross or effect is always known the subtle or the cause is always unknown is a simple rule now after having understood these five great elements and their causes tanmatras now the next step shrotram chakshushi shrotram tok chakshushi jiva ghranam chendriya panchakam there are five sense organs you all know that then <coughs> दे आर एक्सप्रेसिंग कर्मादि गोलक स्थम तत् शब्दादि ग्राहकम क्रमात अभी अटेंटिव इन द एक्सटर्नल ऑर्गन्स देर आर टू आस्पेक्ट्स इन्वॉल्व वन इज द स्ट्रक्चरल आस्पेक्ट सेकेंड इज द फंक्शनल आस्पेक्ट सो दिस फंक्शनल इंद्रियाज और सेंस ऑर्गन्स दे आर लोकेटेड समवेयर सो the vision is located in the structural eye the hearing ability is located in the structural ear and so on and karnadi golakastham shabdadi grahakam kramat and sokshmat karyanu meyam tat prayo bhavit bahir mukham whether my vision is functional or not nobody can know once i was in south africa and uh, in some temple only one lecture was there so right in the front seat front row there was one lady sitting must be in her mid 40s or early or late 40s very nice bright looking good eyes after that lecture was over prashad so i said hey come forward quickly and she came slowly then i got up and gave her everybody again then her mother elderly lady she came and met me sami ji you gave the prasad first to somebody said, yes i said her eyes are beautiful sami ji she is my daughter she is now 45 or so she has no vision karyanumeya means that which is established only after the effect has happened another example one of my friend he went to take his wife to the hospital for check up and she was being checked up he was sitting they waiting and there it was written some sticker if you are 50 plus you should take a general check up so he thought anyway i have to wait here he took the check up and then the doctor told that immediately you should get operated more than 90% blocks how you have come here we don't know karyanumeya he was not feeling any effect so if the effects are not there cause cannot be established therefore all these faculties they are saukshme art they are subtle so what we see are the gross they are structural and the functional aspect are the one which are important so saukshmyat karyanumeyam tat prayo dhavit bahir mukham and they are by default extrovert like in kathopanishad this mantra comes paranchi khali vitruna swayambhu tasmat paran pashyati nantaratman कश्चि धीर 
ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮಾನಮೈಕ್ಷತ್ ಆವೃತ್ತ ಚಕ್ಷು ಅಮೃತತ್ವಮಿಚ್ಛನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೇನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದೆ ದೆನ್ ಕಷ್ಟಿತ್ ಧೀರ ರೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕರೇಜಿಯಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅವೃತ್ತ ಚಕ್ಷು ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿಡ್ರಾ ಹೀಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಬೈ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ವೈ ಹೀ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಅಮೃತತ್ವ ಮಿಚ್ಚನ್ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಸೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋವರ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎಕ್ಟಿಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಅಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ದ ವಿಲ್ ಪವರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ವಿಡ್ರಾ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋವರ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋವರ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಸೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಹೌ ಸೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಕದಾಚಿತ್ ಪಿಹಿತೆ ಕರ್ಣೆ ಶ್ರೂಯತೆ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಂತರ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಯೆಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಣವಾಯೋ ಜಾಠರಾಗ್ನೋ ಜಲಪಾನೆ ಅನ್ನಭಕ್ಷಣೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬ್ರೀದಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ನೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇನ್ ಜಾಠರಾಗ್ನೋ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಮ ಗುಡ್ 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 ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನ್ ಜಲಪಾನೆ ಅನ್ನಭಕ್ಷಣೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಎ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ all the five sense uh, objects but sense organs can exp- experience only one type because mind is both inside and outside this principle i am telling you digest it this is the only way there is no other way whole understanding has to undergo change <coughs> now to understand this let us do some experiment you are seeing me i can't say let's do an experiment you are hearing me but you are seeing me i can say you pretend to be seeing now the question is where do you see me where i am there or you are seeing me inside you if you say that you are seeing me inside you but i am outside so when i am outside how can i see, how can you see me inside then okay by what you are seeing me by the mind and where the knowledge is happening in the mind therefore mind is both inside and outside now next step inside outside is valid with reference to some line of demarcation see uh, uh, this what is called chain is inside my pocket and this um, bookmark is outside the pocket so with reference to pocket something is in something is out we are inside the hall our shoes are outside the hall reference hall our shoes are inside the facility our cars are outside the facility our cars are inside this ashram our homes are outside the ashram so for establishing in and out you require a reference 
Now, next step. When you are in deep sleep, don't start. When you are in deep sleep, because now you tell now and then do experiment. <laughs> so when you are in deep sleep, you are inside the body or outside the body? You are inside the room or outside the room? Think. So what is the conclusion? Conclusion is our notion that I am inside the body is wrong. The body is in me. I am not in the body. Our body has got a limited diameter. And body is alive because of the prana, breathing. Now find out. The prana maya kosha is inside or outside? Again inside. But can this prana maya kosha sustain without its connection with the outside? See? So, the prana is not in the body. Body is in the prana. Oh God, that means we have been studying and knowing all this. It's all rubbish. It is horrible rubbish. See? So the body is in the prana. Body and prana, they are in the mind. Body, prana, mind, they are in the intellect. Four of them are in the Ananda Maya Kosha. My body, your bodies are different. My prana shakti, your prana shakti is different. My miseries, your miseries are different. My logic, your logic is different. My personality, your personality is different. But Ananda Maya Kosha, we are all one. There are not separate Ananda Maya Koshas for different people. There may be different waves, but ocean is one. And therefore, what is our experience in deep sleep? For all of us common, there is no sense of otherness. And second, we don't have the sense of uh, finite existence or limited existence. Don't think and don't try to understand. Just be. Vedanta removes wrong notions without creating new notions. You go to Dharma Shastra. Earlier I was eating non-vegetarian. Now since I started going to temple, now I eat vegetarian. So one notion is replaced by other notion. Earlier I was bogi, but now I am a yogi. Earlier I used to see the movies. Now I see movies at home. <laughs> I, 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 still there. Vedanta helps us. Getting freedom from I not freedom for I. So who are these eyes? We are not one. We are a poultry farm inside. Therefore, constantly co -co 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 goes on. Find out who is this one. So am I mother, father, mother, sister, husband, wife, in-laws, outlaws, or I am a man or woman? When this knowledge, only hearing will not help, when it really matures in our acceptance, then the changes start coming. This is what is the ultimate in yoga according to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Atma upamena sarvatra samam pasyati yorjuna sukham vayadiva dukham sa yogi paramo mataha. He who is able to see everyone as he sees himself, 
how we see ourselves if there is the occasion of happiness i want to share my happiness with everybody happiness shared is happiness multiplied but if there is a misery in my life then i don't want everybody to be miserable but i want somebody should come and console me give me extend a helping hand and bring me out of the miseries exactly the same way when you are happy in the happiness of others and when you are voluntarily without any preparation without any project without any organized approach when you are able to help anybody who shall come to your way if possible then you have merge out of one individuality into the totality like in our own system when there is scratching to my ear so my hand goes and scratches there that time the ear doesn't send a whatsapp excuse me are you free please come down and when the scratching happens that time the ears don't say thank you dear and if the finger goes in our own eyes and it hurts us then we don't chop off the finger because although other ways is experience but other ways is not established we are all different from each other as regards body is concerned prana is concerned power is concerned mind is concerned concepts are concerned but life wise we are all one so what is the spiritual practice get out of all those faculties or factors because of which differences are established and reach a substratum where differences are dissolved this is the purpose of this study ओके कर्णादी गोलकस्थम तत् शब्दादी ग्राहकम क्रमा सूक्ष्मात् कार्य अनुमेयम तत् प्रायो धावे बहिर्मुखम कदाचित् पिहिते कर्णे श्रूयते शब्द अंतरः प्राणवायो जाठराग्नो जलपान्ने न भक्षणे व्यजन्ते यांतरा स्पर्शा मिलने चांतरस्तमः सिमिलरली इन सेन इफ यू टेक समथिंग हॉट टी और कॉफी यू फील द Uh, heat of the tea or coffee inside your esophagus, you do feel. Therefore, there also there is a skin. Our skin is an organ of touch. The same skin goes inside, become the tongue, and therefore, tongue also feels the touches, heat or cold. in addition to that the tongue has the taste buds have we ever thought about it our skin has become our tongue narayana so udgare rasagandho che akshanam antaragraha similarly the eyes also when the eyes the eyes are closed they also see the darkness and when there is a belching you get the smell and the taste etc in this manner all the five organs are operating simultaneously outside as well as inside because for the mind there is no concept of inside or outside it is our concept only as long as we are identified with our body you must have seen kids when they sleep they fight with their own touch when you know my pillow your pillow and both of them sleep and thereafter somebody is like goes on somebody is head somebody tongue goes up no problem i still sleep why the barrier of creating differences has dissolved temporarily therefore this experience is explained by bhagwan krishna in gita या निशा सर्वूता तस्याम जागृति संयमी यस्याम जागृति भूता सा निशा पश्यत मुने पश्यत मुने द वन हु इज अवेकंड हु इज एसेंशियल नेचर फॉर हिम लाइक द इग्नोरेंट पर्सन इज अवेकंड टू द डिफरेंसेस एंड स्लीपिंग टू द डिविनिटी द वाइज मैन इज अवेकंड टू द डिविनिटी एंड स्लीपिंग टू द डिफरेंसेस 
the only difference therefore sleep and samadhi are same the only difference is this samadhi you don't know and in the awakening you know as simple as this now panchakosha uh, uh, pancha ukti adana gamana visarga ananda kriya krishi vanijya eva vanijya sevadya panchasu antar bhavati similarly for the karmendriyas now there are five karmendriyas and they are having the five activities the five activities is the speech holding by the hand walking by the legs visarga excretion ananda kaha the sex pleasure these are the five which include all other the possible activities that we undertake then what are the organs for that vak pani payu padu pasta kshehi asti kriya jani so these are the five sense organs the organ of speech the organ of holding hands legs the procreation and the excretion and in this manner now our personality is made out of these pancha kosh the pancha mahabhutas if our attention goes on this differences will be perceived but differences will not become an issue in life this is what is called as the real spiritual practice it is not pure what to do since i am realize so pathetic don't get realize why i don't see anything else the other day i was wanting to go out of the hall and dash under the wall because everything is brahman no difference between the wall and the door this is not the meaning your life will continue as you are now but the quality of your interaction will <coughs> change it is something somebody comes and gives you a bang from my said are yaar and you look oh god who is this i am going to beat him and then you see he is your dad <laughs> immediately in the same manner when you move in this world with an attitude of a friend or enemy and when you discover it is me alone all the problems disappear therefore uh, these five uh, organs they are located mukhadi golakashi vaste tat karmendriya panchakam so you know all these five organs of action located in the mouth etc then after this external faculties are spoken now internal faculties internal faculties called as antakkarana karana means instrument and eyes etc they are bahir karana so they are external faculties and there are internal faculties what is that mano dashendriya dhyaksham vrut padme godake sthitam so mind is the inner faculty like various organs are located in different places now where is the mind seated vrut padme the mind is in the spiritual heart not in the bloody heart when the mind glows in the bloody heart you go to sleep you go to prakruti i'll tell you one technique but don't do now for god's sake if you are not getting sleep swami ji it is the other way around difficult for us not to sleep we are like arjun guda kesha who has conquered sleep you can sleep any time problem is only waking up 50% done so if you are not getting sleep turn on your left side and do this bhavana you have entered your bloody heart and start playing sleep sleep so what is playing sleep sleep in sleep we breathe deep so start breathing deep because you are playing i is not born i want to sleep is not there 
they are just playing sleep sleep and in no time you will be in deep sleep kindly don't do now i should not have told <laughs> so mano dashendriya dhyaksham mind presides over all the ten faculties and located in the vrut sthale golake sthitam now see <clears throat> mind alone is expressing through all the <coughs> organs whether it is dhanendriya or karmendriya mind alone is expressing and therefore tach antakaran bahyeshu aswatantriyad indriya vidaihi the mind is not able to register anything without the operation of the faculties in other words that which is not included in the mind doesn't exist for us so much of many times it happens something is on our shirt we are not seen some spot some um, something has fallen we are not seen we don't know somebody is, hey something has fallen on your shirt really oh god the moment you are seen it has entered in your mind and reaction has happened so what we have to understand all experiences happen neither in the objects nor in the sense organs all experiences happen in the mind that which doesn't enter the mind doesn't create anything for us so if you are sleeping on your bed is it not your own responsibility to see that the bed is clean and neat in the same manner if all experiences are happening in the mind is it not our responsibility to mind the mind the one question don't answer all have same answer what we have done right from childhood till date to take care of our mind see my friends therefore i told you in the morning or yesterday's class a seeker is born when he starts working on his mind when he start working on the outer things the family matters and then this neighbor and the society do that it has nothing to do with spiritual practice the real spiritual seeker is born when he or she is now working on the mind what is our approach when some problem comes we try to fix the responsibility i suppose i am a husband fortunately not suppose i am a husband and i am miserable then what will i think i am miserable because of my wife default settings if i am a mother miserable because of my children thereafter what will be my approach to life to improve the husband or to improve the wife both things have never happened it is not recorded in the history of humanity <laughs> that wife has improved the husband or husband has improved the wife both of them are gone cases why gone cases they don't exist can you improve the reflection in the waters water is dirty but why the reflection is not clear water is shaky but why it is shaky i am not shaking then okay i want to clean the reflection and take out so you put the fishing net take it out or nothing is coming it will come only if it is there exactly the same way take all your relations 
where are they separate the man and husband i can do that how i ask one child one boy rather not child he wanted to ask me something and first i ask you a question are you married he said no swami ji my face is like that <laughs> that is the reason why in our indian hindu culture ladies put on that dot com american question now your chance has gone she is already hooked no but why there is no sign on the man no need <laughs> from the face you can know <laughs> Well, there is a blow, blow on the sorry. There is a glow on the face. <laughs> See the times. Therefore, all these <clears throat> things are happening only in the mind, and we don't take care of our mind. The day you take this as your spiritual practice, you have done a great favor to yourself. spiritual practice is this number 1 we must stop reacting in the world number 2 we must not get involved with anything or anybody unless invited properly otherwise we create problem for us and thus watch the mind now like i am talking to you there are three possibilities of my attention either my attention is on you or attention is on me or attention is on my mind now if my attention is on you and i get disturbed by some of you sleeping some of you eating the nail some of you looking somewhere some of you doing something if i get affected by that i will not be able to continue what i am doing and if some of you are understanding by mistake i am not making it a great achievement number 2 if my attention is on you why you are not listening i am talking but why are you sleeping i am not sleeping with your eyes <laughs> then second place attention will be on me i am wise i am teaching others are ignorant they know nothing so when i try to focus attention on the world i will be frustrated when i focus on me i will be arrogant then both the places it is not spiritual practice first place it is the um, social work in second place it will be erudition and arrogance the third option my attention is neither on you nor on me but on my mind is my mind at peace before i begin my talk if my mind is equanimous while the talk is going on if the mind is equally the same after the talk is over then i am working on the spiritual path then we are taking care of our mind very times when we begin we are so excited the excited mind cannot deliver goods properly because everything is happening through the mind and that mind we have never taken care a disturbed mind is a source of all problems in life a cool mind is a solution to all the problems of the world and a sleeping mind has no problems <laughs> therefore what should spiritual practice sleep we should don't have to teach it we are expert in So 
मनोदशेन्द्रियाध्यक्ष हृत्पद्मे गोलके स्थित तच्च अंतकरण बाह्येशु अस्वातंत्र्या इंद्रियी विनय विदाउट द कॉपरेशन एंड असोसिएशन विद द सेंस ऑर्गन्स नो एक्सपीरियंस कैन हैव देन अक्षेशु अर्पितार्थेशु तद्गुणेशु दोषी विचारकम सत्वमृदस्तमश्चास्य गुणा विक्रियते ही तय सो व्हाट द माइंड डज when an object is pursued through the five sense organs then what the mind does we start searching for what is good what is bad what i like what i don't like and the mind start analyzing and creating out of one many things sound is heard by the ears no problem mind starts this is bengali gujarati this is marathi this is punjabi mind begins and this mind then starts interacting depending upon the type of mode it is functioning there are three modes sattva radas tamas chasya guna vikriyate hi tai so by these three modes sattva radas tamas now here also we all have to know something very clearly most important thing nobody has ever seen sattva rajas tamas when we talk about the world what is the world the world is three things matter dravya or inert world kriya activities third knowledge other than these three factors there is nothing in this world so when we see them our mind will ask question what is the cause of matter what is the cause of activity what is the cause of knowledge okay cause of matter is tamo guna cause of the activity is rajo guna and cause of the knowledge is sattva guna oh nobody has ever seen it now we are attentive if the cause is determined by the effects then cause have become the effects and the effects have become the cause see they are mutually dependent like the symptoms of the disease and the disease they are mutually dependent if there are no symptoms known disease cannot be established and if the disease is there then there are symptoms so who is because of whom so they are mutually dependent the mutually dependent factors are supported by the third factor which is independent of both of them three friends therefore these three gunas are indicated for us to understand we'll after drop that also don't worry then what are these three gunas vairagyam kshanti raudaryam इत्यादय सत्व स्वभाव संभव वेन वी आर हैविंग प्रिडामिनेंटली डिस्पैशन पीस एंड औदार्य इज होल हार्टेडनेस नॉट हार्ट विद होल देन वी आर अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ सत्व गुणा देन सेकंड काम क्रोध हो लोभ यत्नो इत्यादया रजसोत्थिता डिजायर एंगर ग्रीड फ्रस्ट्रेशन एट्सेट्रा दीज आर द एक्सप्रेस ऑफ रजोगुण एंड अवर क्लोज फ्रेंड आलस्यम भ्रांति तंद्राद्या विकारास्तमसोत्थिता आलस्य लेजीनेस भ्रांति ऑलवेज डेल्यूडेड एंड तंद्रा ऑल द टाइम इन द श्याम भविमुद्रा then tamo guna has taken over three friends now we should control them or they should control us you must have seen initially when we ride the bicycle why the bicycle is going one one side 
that time the cycle is taking us we are not taking the bicycle anywhere now also the same way the three gunas carry us here and there and then slowly we come to one funny kind of illusion sattva guna is good raju guna is okay tamo guna is very bad and some ammas i got lovely ammas around the world when a main um, brindavan she told me amma how is your mind how is your japa going on so i mean you always ask the same thing you never ask how how is your husband how is your son and john i have got tell swami ji tell you my husband is tamasik <coughs> my son rajasik amma what about you i am satvik <laughs> These are spiritual abuses. Gali denge, tamasik. This is not the truth. Everything is essential. If you cannot invoke tamoguna, you cannot go to sleep. If you cannot invoke rajoguna, you cannot come out of the sleep. if you cannot invoke sattva guna you cannot understand anything in all the three things are essential part of our life but the only thing is we must know when to invoke whom <laughs> only that discrimination is required if that is not there then we go the wrong way and suffer in our life therefore this further alasyam bhranti nidradya vikara tamasotita then satyu kaihi punya nishpatti papotpatti cha rajasaihi when you are functioning under the influence of the sattva guna you will be creating good karmas or the merits in your life charity helping others chanting lord's name ओ पुण्य कर्मा देन राजसे ही पापोत्पत्ति इफ वी आर एंगेज ओनली इन काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मात्सर्य एंड फंक्शनिंग अंडर दैट इन्फ्लुएंस देन ऑल द रॉन्ग थिंग्स विल बी हैपनिंग एंड एज अ रिजल्ट वी विल इनकर सिन सो सत्व सत्व क्रिएट द मेरिट एंड रजस क्रिएट द सिन व्हाट अबाउट आवर फ्रेंड क्षपणम भवे बट यू आर मिसिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू अटेन द हाइएस्ट इन यूर Rutha ayuk shapanam, you are wasting your life. Then, Bhagwan has given us this opportunity to evolve spiritually. So he is telling, I give you opportunity. Either you change or I will change. When we refuse to change, he changes. Next life, take us out of the human body and put into the pig's body. आहार निद्रा भय मैथुन नो बात नो मेडिटेशन नो स्टडीज सो ऑप्शन इज दिस वेदर वी आर रेडी टू चेंज और वी अलाउ हिम टू चेंज यू डिसाइड देर फोर वृथा आयु क्षपणम भवे अत्र अहम प्रत्यय करता लोके व्यवस्थित स्पष्ट शब्द युक्तेशु भौतिक महती स्फुट अक्षाद अभी तस्त्र युक्ति अवधारिता नौ अहम प्रत्यय त्र नौ द वन हू ईज ऐडेंटिफाइड विथ दिस मैंड 
mean i am very intelligent i am very dynamic and i am okay thus we get identified with these three gunas under which the mind is functioning and then that becomes our personality therefore continuing the thought further shabdadi spashta shabdadi yukteshu bhautikatvam atisputam now it is very easy to understand and accept that all these objects are gross very easy to understand shabda sparsha rup rasaganda we can comprehend them akshado akshado api tat shastra yukti byam avadharyatam similarly now our faculties the five dhanendriyas five karmendriyas they are also the same way they are also made out of the same pancha mahabhutas that means that which is known shabda sparsha rupa rasaganda and that which is known through the five sense organs both of them are made out of the same pancha mahabhutas like space pancha mahabhut tanmatra shabda the dhanendriya ears karmendriya speech no speech and shravanendriya both of them are functioning in the sounds and sound is tanmatra of the space therefore from the space alone objectively the objects came subjectively the sense organ came now multiplied with all the other four elements thus five sense organs uh, five tanmatras five objects five dhanendriya five karmendriya five pancha pranas everything is five 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 therefore prapancha pancha is five pachi vistare this is the root then with the expands of this five is the samsara and all this five they come from one source and that source is the truth like when colors and forms are removed no loss to the vision when vision is closed no loss to the mind when mind sleeps no loss to the intellect when the intellect drop no loss to the life when the life is non functional energy is still there as in coma and when the energy goes back to the source no loss to the pure conscious reality that we are therefore one of the spiritual practice is tyage naike amritatva manasho first give up objects then give up slavery to the sense organs then give up influence of likes and dislikes in the form of choices in the mind then give up the logic in the intellect then come to the principle of life when you enter the life there is no logic logic begins from intellect onwards and this life is an expression of the inner potentiality called as shakti that is why in our scriptures shakti is given so much importance therefore ladies are called as shakti it is okay what about men men are sun shakti <laughs> somebody has to tolerate it <laughs> when you the slowly and steadily start working in your own being you know after this when you are perfected what happens like the uh, doctors who are operating who have done hundreds of operations 
दे कम फ्रॉम मेरी वे अच्छा ओके ये लेकिन हाँ हाँ किसका करना है क्या करना है किडनी निकाल दे ठीक है बट किडनी कहाँ है यार नो दे कैन स्टार्ट डूइंग इवन विथ क्लोज आइज बिकॉज सो ईजी फॉर देम दे आर रूटेड इन दैट नॉलेज इन द सेम मैनर वेन वी आर रूटेड इन दैट नॉलेज देन वेन वी आर टू बी विद द चिल्ड्रन वी आर लाइक चाइल्ड वेन वी आर विद द यंगस्टर्स वी आर कोको कर ब्रांड वेन वी आर विद द ओल्डर हो and when you are with yourself you are at peace therefore never trust him mahatma they are only playing samoham sarvabhuteshu name dvesho asti na priya everybody is same for me that becomes the second nature and they got created like for the eyes all colors are same so eyes are same समूहम सर्वरंगेशु इयर्स आर टेलिंग समूहम सर्वशब्देशु माइंड इज टेलिंग समूहम सर्व इंद्रियशु लाइफ इज टेलिंग चेतना इज टेलिंग समूहम सर्व देहेशु सी फ्रेंड्स द हायर यू राइज फ्रॉम द ग्रास टू द सटल यू विल सी differences become redundant they have no value no meaning okay now these our sense organs etc they are also the product of the same pancha mahabhutas this how to know about the gross things we can understand directly but akshadav api but our faculties are also made out of the same sense uh, the pancha mahabhutas how to understand it is said शास्त्र युक्ति भ्याम अवधार्यता फॉर दैट अथॉरिटी इज द स्क्रिप्चर्स इट इज सेड इतीन्द्रिय अतीन्द्रिय विषयाण दोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर दोज टॉपिक्स विच फॉल बियॉन्ड द स्कोप ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड द माइंड फॉर देम अवर स्क्रिप्चर्स इज द अथॉरिटी No, for example, last life, next life. No, no, we don't know. Our scriptures tell me exactly. Then, after death, we continue to live. Who knows? But we accept. If you do bad thing, you go to hell. If you do good thing, you come back to this world. Who knows? But we accept because it is atindriya vishe. the topic which is beyond the scope of sense organs mind intellect etc therefore shastra yukti bhyam we should apply the authority of the scriptures as a reference point and then put your logic but this should be use the logic should be used in such a way that it is not opposing the scriptures i'll tell you about this one example this happened somewhere many years before they used to conduct some meeting some uh, organizations meeting and they wanted to construct something like a temple or any example you can take and uh, all the trustees and everybody will come and i was also invited so only you come under your guidance but you don't have to speak you have to only listen so i listen to you my interest was samosa and chai <laughs> so sit there and after a half an hour one hour meeting then nothing is concluded only one thing was discuss how it is difficult these days getting funds is difficult you know and getting the land and even if you build it who will come to that temple no going on anyway now time is over we'll see when is the next meeting next meeting so conclusion of every meeting was only when is the next meeting <laughs> that was the conclusion so after third or fourth meeting they saw me you are not talking anything you please stay i said you know you are all discussing how it cannot be done you don't have to discuss don't do it <laughs> relax four times you have come together and started discussing how it cannot be done don't do it oh in the same manner swami ji it is very difficult to part no don't do it nobody needs our spirituality 
Whether you realize or don't realize, who cares? That what people will say. They have a better thing to see. We are the funny notions. People are looking at us. See? People look at cartoon shows. Therefore, don't get lost in this negative approach. Therefore, when scriptures say, we have to find out how this is possible and how it can be achieved. This is called a Sattarka, not Kutarka. Kutarka is how it cannot be done. Then you don't have to do it. So, Ekadashen Dei Yuktya Shastrena Api Avagamete Yavat Kinchit Bhavet Etat Idam Shabdoditam Jagat. Now, here the word is indicated by the word Idam. See? Now, from here we take the um, Upanishadic statement because it is a Shastra Yukti Bhyam. So, what is the Upanishadic statement which is taken here for discussion? Sadeva Somya Idamagra Asit. This, is come, this comes from one Upanishad. A Somya, oh my dear student, a student, he is constantly banged by the teacher, he loses interest. Now and then the teacher has to praise him. Oh, you are great. Mahatma, Riyar, you are good. Then he will be maintained. You dumb, you don't know anything? Okay, I am going. <laughs> you know, in Katopanishad, our Yamaraj tells his disciple, Nachiket. Do you know what is the desire of any guru? Any guru has only one desire. A disciple like you should come in his life at least once. That means millions come, but not like you. And like you means what? Najiket, don't mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I am referring to Kadopanishad. <laughs> And who was Najiket? When he was given all the temptations of the life and yet he stood apart and he told his Guru, Shobhava Martesya Yadanta Kaitat Sarvendriyanam Jarayanti Tejaha Api Sarvam Jeevitam Alpameva Tavai Vavaha Stavanrutya Gite O oh Lord, you are giving me these temptations. Show Bhava Martyasya. He Antaka, O Lord Death, anything that is today is going to change tomorrow. How can it give me permanent happiness? Sarvendriyanam Jarayanti Tejaha. You can eat any object up to a particular limit. After that, even if you be Bengali and you eat Rashogulla, after some time you want chutney. Because Indriyanam Tejaha Jarayanti, all the power and ability of the sense organs is lost. Then Api Jivim Sarvam Alpameva, whatever may be your age, you never feel that you have become old. It is the other people who help us. <laughs> Therefore, the way of Vahastava keep all these temptations with you, I don't need. Thereafter, the Guru says, rare indeed is a student like you who seeks the truth to the exclusion of everything. See, friends. Naya matma pravajane na labhya na medhaya na bahuna shrute na yamai vecha vrunate te na labhya ta seisha atma vi vrunate tarun swam. Upanishad says, I am Atma Pravachanena Givena Pravachanena Lisanena Nalabya. By giving lectures and listening lectures, nothing is going to happen. Na Medhaya. You remember, you quote left and right from here and there, nothing to do. Na Bahuna Shrutena. I have heard so many Mahatmas, now you try. Then, Yamai Vesha Vrute Tena Labya. He who seeks the truth to the exclusion of everything, 
To him alone the truth is revealed. See friends, Sant Ganeshwar Maharaj in his commentary on Bhagavad Gita, he tells that when you walk the path of yoga or upasana, many, many siddhis start appearing on your way. But they are so detrimental, like when you want to light fire, first the smoke comes. All those siddhis and abilities are like the smoke. They are not the fire. See, friends. But most of the people engage in these two faculties, yoga exclusively and upasana exclusively. Their main attention is only on the siddhis. And then this world becomes real for them. Until such time, we take this world as real. Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam will continue and opportunity will be lost. Therefore, here the teacher says, Eka Dashendriya Yuktya Shastri Navagam Mete, then Yavit Kinchit Bhavet Etat Idam Shabdo Ditam Jagat. So, Sab Eva Somme Idam Agrahasit. Oh, my dear student. Before this world was created, it was only pure existence. So now see in this statement how many doubts can come. Oh, before this world was created, there was only existence. That, is, that means now the world is. Existence is not. Logic. Therefore, it is said that Vidyanatham Guru Mevavi Gachet Samit Panehi Shrotriyam Brahmanishtam. We should never study the scriptures by taking the commentaries in the hand and trying to uh, understand with our inabilities. No. Because the implied meaning of the statements is different than the apparent meaning. Now, in this statement, where it is said, Sadeva Somme Idam Agre Asit, O my dear student, before this world was created, there was only existence. So see how many problems. Though earlier it was existence, now this world is indeed, forget about existence. Won't. Second thing, world is created. Third thing, world is real. Therefore, why worry about the Sadvas? That means, before creation, that means time. After the creation destroyed, that means again time. So, this kind of thinking creates three principles. Time, space and object. Whenever we start functioning under the influence of time, space and object, you are caught in the maya of your own. Then we get lost in cause and effect. Vishwam Pashyati Karya Karanataya Swaswami Sambandataha Shishya Acharyataya Tathaiva Pitru Putra Adhyatmana Vedataha The world begins the moment cause and effect is taken as real. Then son, father or guru, shishya, cause, effect, you are lost in this world. The truth is a causeless existence. And therefore, not opposed to anything. Whatever we know in our life is always in opposition to something. Good, opposed to bad. Noise, opposed to silence. Health, opposed to disease. Birth, opposed to death. The truth is, unopposed existence. And to catch this, you don't have to go anywhere. Right here. Now. Sound we have heard. Followed by silence, that also we heard. So we are hearing presence of the sound, absence of the sound. Then who have to be ourselves? 
the one who is supporting both presence and absence has to be beyond presence and absence. Sound is created, silence is destroyed. But we are neither created nor destroyed. Recognize this truth, my friends. We have learned everything in spirituality. Therefore, idam sarvam pura prushte ekam eva driti ekam sadeva sinnan rupe nasti mityarode raja. Now the quotation is given. In the next verse, I know you are all hungry. We go for lunch. Om Purna Madaha Purna Midam Purna Ahat Purna Mudachate Purna Sya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Yonamaha Hari Om